who doesn't love jhumka and i'm not an exception this design is inspired from the jhumki Welcome to Terracotta Planet, a channel where we explore terracotta jewelry making. So to make this particular pendant, I've already made a clay slab and cut it into a rectangle strip. Now using a fettling knife, I'm marking borders on both the sides and just enhancing its depth. So I'm, do I'm drawing double line uh, on both the sides of the pendant. So using a small round uh, cutter, I'm marking a round impression on the centers of the pendant. And using a further small uh, marker to mark the smaller impression inside those. So once these are done, done I am using a, a nib of a refill pen to mark a round, a tiny round impression around this design. So I'm trying not to overlap the impression. So once this impression is done, I'm using a fettling knife to mark a small triangular kind of impression. So I'm marking the outlines first and then enhancing the actual design. So you can also use a paper cutting knife uh, instead of fettling knife. So we have almost done with adding, adding detail to the main part of the pendant. Now moving on to the junki part. I have made a, a base of the junki ready and now uh, cutting it half using the fettling knife. And uh, smoothening the uh, base of the junkie using the fettling knife so that we don't have any sharp uh, edges. So once we have the base of the junkie ready, we can start to make impressions in that. I'm using a fettling knife to draw a base line. All, uh, and then using a Refill nib to mark a tiny round impression around that.
again using a fiddly knife to draw a outline for the next layer and using a v-shaped tool to mark a triangular kind of impression so once this is done uh, we can go ahead and add beads to them I'm using gunguru beads so I'm using a tweezer to attach these gunguru beads to the jumki base So once the Gungro beads are added to the base of the Junki, uh, we have almost done. We can attach both the parts of the pendant, that is pendant and the Junki, using a U-pin and P-pin arrangement. So almost the pendant is done. We can attach an I-pin to the top of the pendant so that it will be useful during the assembling part. I hope the video was useful if you like the video please kindly like share subscribe and comment we also have an instagram page where we update daily so please don't forget to follow that thank you